because they had to compete with another company. Other stations, they didn't have to compete with anyone, so they just built a station. Big. That's where that nice architecture. I wonder what the geometric ratio of these arches is. This station is entirely built around one geometric ratio. Everything's based on the geometric ratio. And it means that it's quite big. I am now in Windsor. And now into this hotel. What sort of lift do they have? I don't know what these buttons are, but they look like some sort of obscure Dewhurst that's not designed to look like Dewhurst. Like the ones that are only on additional fixtures, not on the button list because they're produced by other companies and sold through the Dewhurst website. Like when it's produced by Dewhurst. Sound like a standard chime. Come on. And what type of lift is this? Refurbished by... Mind the door. It's got buttons, which I'm not sure if they're Dewhurst or they're somewhere else. Refurbished by Chevron Lifts Limited. I, I can't tell what the manufacturer is. It's got generic chime. Can't go up because at the top floor. Mind the door, please. Lift going down. This is a cheap generic MRL or MR, I can't tell. Maybe it's an MRL, but it's just designed to be really quiet. There's a cheap, tiny motor. Ground floor. Lift going down. At the bottom. There is also an old room service bell indicator. It was designed to remind staff who had pulled the room service bell in case they forgot on their way up or forgot to check. And over there we have an AC Route Master running on an express route. The AC Route Master has, a, has an engine which is quiet but it's quite small for a bus of that age. It's front engined and it's not very good at going at high speeds. It performs better at low speeds and that's because it's designed to run in a traffic jam and the entire point of an express route is that it doesn't go in a traffic jam so it's sort of defeating the point of use a route master which is designed to go in a traffic jam on a route on an express route which is designed not to go in a traffic jam it kind of defeats the point and here we have a volvo bus which runs the express to the airport if there's one thing that windsor is famous for that's not to do with Windsor Castle, it's all the old-fashioned hotels. This is the Castle Hotel. <laughs> I'm on the top floor. 
There's the view there. Not much. Best if we get outside, but that's all the rooms. This actually has a proper lift for once. As a proper lift made by a non-English company, it has an eco disc. They don't need the up in the heater because this is the top floor. Maybe there's another floor which has no doors, just the motor. No doors, closed button on an eco disc. This is a second generation eco disc and finally a hotel with a good lift. First floor. Uh. No one was getting. Fast doors. Oh, or maybe it just has CSM set to the wrong floor. I've never been in a lift with CSM before. Maybe. Maybe they have CSM, but it's set to the wrong floor. And now to the lift in TK Maxx, which is an Otis Gen 2. This knee is locked. Oh. This is a really good Otis Gen 2. It's really nice and fast. HSBC has a lovely old staircase. This shopping centre is actually run by one company, but I can't help thinking it would be a bit better if it was just a street and no one company was running all of it. The next lift is a stupid generic. It goes between level minus the railway arches ground the shopping centre and level plus Royal Windsor shopping and the train station. This lift is stupid generic. Is it even <laughs> the circuit? And now it it's up at this floor and it's a uh, It's not a very good lift, it's just a generic. Slow lift. Come on. It's just a silly slow lift. How many doors are going to open at minus? Minus first floor. Minus first floor, that's what Looks like an eco disc. What? That's weird. Because when you push the button down, it seems that the logic has connected that. It so a braille panel next to the buttons because eco disc buttons aren't compatible with braille. Maybe there isn't common knowledge in Finland. Hydraulic. Okay. So. Quite efficient. This, this is advanced lift. This is a generic hydraulic, but for a generic hydraulic it's rather efficient. But it doesn't start off quickly enough. Even though it's efficient, it's sort of... That, that less than makes up for it being slow. 
never seen this type of lift before. I've never seen these fixtures before. It, it changes, it, the floor change impulse is as it departs. It's like the experimental logic lift, which I haven't recorded yet, which is in Victoria Station goes up to a Medicenter. It's got the Arona voice. Lift going down. Aro the Arona voice is a male voice. That's in proper Arona, it's actually quite loud, but in this lift, it's quite quiet. Ground floor. Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer in Windsor. It's actually a relatively boring shop. A lot of the shops here have two entrances, one on Peaskid Street and one in a shopping centre. Marks and Spencer's doesn't. Which makes it a rather boring shop. So, doors opening, lift going up. Doors closed, doors closing. The placebo button it just doesn't work altogether. Because to be a placebo button, it has to be a reasonable amount of time, like three seconds until the doors close. Some placebo buttons take ages, so I don't get to do a placebo one. button when it when the placebo button when it doors like be pushed is more than three seconds. Of that day. It's locked. That's weird, because it seems to be locked, but I can't see where they'd have the keyhole. Maybe you have to have a V key. Oh, they're just not at this floor. Ah, yay. This is much better than the other one. The other one's not very good. The problem with this lift is that it smells of bins. Basement floor. The staff were looking for some pallets and the type they needed was in the lift. So I had to wait for them to unload the pallets before going back up. This which is a finish lift. Going down. Locked. Ground floor. Let's go in the eco disc. I never heard that train before.
Fan doesn't work. Not a very fast lift. Broken key switch. Let's see how many kids react to an app call and the call's locked. Should call it button basement, I think. And now into Fennec, which had a this and crap with Dewhurst. And so we're continuing down. It's a thistle. <laughs> Basement. This is good stuff only, so I'm not allowed to get out. Hydraulic. The L should disappear soon. Lakeland is in the same building, so we'll probably have a Thyssenkrupp too. Maybe even a futuristic Thyssenkrupp. No, this building is too shabby to have a lift with non dewhurst fixtures. As it turns out, it's a futuristic Thyssenkrupp! A bit strange for a low-range kitchenware shop to have a flagship lift. Sadly, it doesn't go... Uh... <laughs> make the chime because this stuff is awesome futuristic oh no chime No chime! You can't have a futuristic fizzing cup that doesn't make that noise. So let's go back up to one. I'm going to show you the star button. Doesn't it say? Level one. Oh, I, I'm not happy that there's no chime. The star button just takes the lift to the exit floor, it's because they didn't want to make floors, they, they didn't want to make number buttons that were green, but they still had to have an exit button to the star button. Okay. I'm disappointed that this lift doesn't have a chime. I'm in weight clothes. 
Waitrose often by product and cone. This is eco discs. Especially now there's an eco disc here in Waitrose. Can I come out there? Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. Alright, uh, it does go to lots of levels, but only goes in six and four. I don't know why they're called in six and four. Here we have some more lifts. These lifts actually feel a bit like Tesco in Chatham in terms of I didn't actually go in Tesco in Chatham um, because I couldn't find the way in. We were in building work in front of the main entrance, so I couldn't find the side entrance. I'd go this way to the side entrance arrows, and it wasn't there, so I couldn't find my way in. And here's the lift. None of the indicators have lit up, but the button's gone dark. Yes, old stuff. There's some. I'm at five. Let's go up to seven. This is an old lift where you can feel G. It's nice and fast. Now, if I go down, I'm going to make this a go to one, the lowest floor. Seven indicators broken. Four. Someone wants to go down. Right, one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Hey. This is from what? No, this is my contact. These lifts are unusually old for cone lifts, which makes me think that they were actually just modernised and refurbished by cone rather than built by cone, because they're unusually old. They don't say cone now, it's got. That's the shop with the futuristic pissing cut and this is over this road to 60 streets in the Sky District called Mount Batten Square. Well you need a pass to go in. And now over to Central Station to catch the shuttle over to Slough. I think that they should open a station at Chalvey and run a sort of this and crap twin lift style service, but more on that in the description file. First to the lift which I used to go in a lot when I was a toddler. Now to the next lift. 
which is making a funny noise. Rubbish. This goes between the train station and the coach park and it's maintained by Axis Elevators Limited which means that because Axis Elevators Limited is such a rubbish company the alarm keeps going off spontaneously. Doors closing. No. No Ground floor. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. I really do not like that tone, that, that tonal voice. Yeah. English is sort of a tonal language. Except, there's everything that does. Except the English tone is used to express, um, tone is used to express weather. Whether, the, whether or not the speaker is asking a question. And, and not really, it doesn't make any difference in the words. It just indicates whether the speaker is asking a question. And we're going through the area west of Eton that, um, that, nobody, that nobody ever built on because there was a flood here. We were a bit stupid and didn't want to build here because it came a flood. And which is why this railway actually runs on a viaduct here rather than an embankment, which would be cheaper to construct because you don't need to because uh, it's only cheaper than bricks um, and it's so that the water can go under it and it doesn't form a dam because if, 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 if you can back it could form a dam meaning that if there was a flood the flood would last longer and you can count for the flood so it's going to be the viaduct so the flood water is very wavy and the flood would last less time in Richmond we have enormous floods and they're on a monthly cycle. Um, they come in sort of three waves, lastly floods. There are three floods a month, all within one 36 hour period. And in, in, especially in Ham, the floods come daily life. Now we're going under the M4. We're arriving in to Lao. It's going so fast that it feels like it's going to be early. And this is where I think Chalvi Station would be, if you should be built. They should build a station at Chalvi. And maybe operate this line as a kind of lift. 
like you have to press buttons and then buttons on each individual rail car be like the lift car and, and you press buttons to it and they can have two carriages they have two of these right passenger off of rail buttons running on the same line so it kind of system up twin lift system yeah we're arriving in Slough and we appear to be early. HST. This is St. Ethelbert's Church in Slough. It's a Catholic church, but it's a lot older than the town's Anglican church. I think it was originally Catholic, then became Anglican at the dissolution, then became Catholic again when the Anglican congregation moved to St. Mary's Church in upton cum Chelvey. And now to the library. They are building a new library, and it looks awesome in there. The old library has some old otises. Some old otis. This is working, the other one isn't. Old Otis. Old Otis, I think. Old Otis buttons. Otis. Otis. £1,200. And it's classic. And now to an office building which has lifts with the futuristic Thyssenkrupp voice and chime, even though they are not futuristic Thyssenkrupp. This lift has the futuristic Thyssenkrupp voice. That voice. This view is absolutely stunning. Yay! Yeah. Time. Door Makes all of the futuristic piss and crap noises. Except it's got different decor and Dewhurst buttons. And now on to St. Mary's Church. And now on to Upton Park Hospital. This is a very unusual hospital. The lift here is a hydraulic with 1940s Dewhurst buttons outside and modern Dewhurst buttons inside. Another building is a former Victorian workhouse. Sadly, Berkshire Healthcare have a photography hostile policy and the staff asked me to delete all my photos. Luckily, they were surprisingly professional about it. This is the workhouse chapel. I have kept this photo as the hospital staff do not care about this building. <laughs> now it's a Queen's Mare. It's a generic. Floor 
Dragons. Oh. Now it's Scott. Hang on. Isn't that... The lower level escalators are Ornstein and Koppel, but what on earth is this logo on about? It's a Bifferclap logo. It's, it's a Thyssen logo, but it says Marriott Scott. That's so weird. It's a Thyssen logo, it says Marriott Scott. And, and let's go through here. Marriott and Scott, who made the escalators for this shop, were bought up by Cone, and these are Cone lift fixtures. And the lift here is uh, an eco disc, or it's a Woken eco disc. I think it's a real eco disc. Actually, hang on, this isn't a real eco disc. It doesn't have a handbrake, it's just a motor. Going down. Doors closed. This is a. I think this was probably once a Marriott and Scott who. Oh, that was modernised by Cohn, and Cohn actually bought Marriott Scott. They brought up their sector of the market when entering into the UK. Ground L. This level is called L. Mind the doors, please. Generic. This generic isn't a hydraulic, which is good. Probably because it goes to an underground floor and they didn't want to build a sub basement for the hydraulic motor room. Lift go. This is a one of those fake eco discs that's not very good. Second floor. Going up. But they didn't, they haven't, when they were on the lift, they haven't even, this was probably an old generic, they haven't Third even floor. replaced the logic with the excellent eco disc. This is a Platchen La. Which is actually not terrible. This lift is another FACO disc. They should have called it Ground 2 and 3, but for some reason they called it Ground 1 and 2, and the other is Ground Mezzanine 1 and 2. I think the other should be Ground Mezzanine 1 and 2, this business would be correct. Otherwise this lift should be Ground 2 and 3. Gen 2 Going down, doors closing Ground floor Now, 
to some more Faco discs. These. Select floors out of four, seven, nine, and eleven. Seven. Actually, has the vandal yeah, resistant yeah, fixtures. replace the motor. They still have the rubbish of generic motor. Cone, modernized generics, and sometimes they only replace the pictures. They don't replace the motor. They don't even replace the lock. Vandal resistant do you have to US 100 buttons? Don't work. And now on to Tesco's, which has Otis 2000s. One of them has been left in inspection mode by the engineer. Let's go. The new Gen 2 that is working, even though its doors closed, isn't. We have less than a minute left of memory and we want to purge. Excuse me. Excuse me. Then I went to Slough Station to take the train to Heathrow Airport. This is the old bridge. The lift says so just a train station. Anna. This is the new bridge. It's quite nice for new bridges. I might watch it. My train. These trains are used on the line to my grandparents' house, but my grandparents on my dad's side, um, and they are very noisy, because they're, they're, the reason they're so noisy is because their transmission is actually the same sort of transmission you'd get in a lorry, which is why they're so noisy. It smells of diesel, because that, the train, that actual class of train actually has a lorry transmission, like transmission from a lorry, rather than from a normal train. Hayes and Harlington Station used to have an old GWR suburban gothic style canopy, similar to that at Ladbroke Grove. It was a nice spacious canopy with a corrugated plastic roof which was very dirty. Now it's been demolished. Crossrail are actually on a rampage of completely demolishing station canopies because they have dirty plastic roofs. It's very sad and a waste of money. Please have your ticket ready for inspection. For your security, CCTV is in operation on board this train. Smoking is not permitted on this service.
customers wishing to travel to Terminal 4, please change at Heathrow Terminals 2 and 3 for the free inter-terminal transfer. on now closed. Over there is the route to Terminal 1 concourse, which is now closed because Terminal 1 is abandoned and an embarrassment to Heathrow Airport because it's all, it's so abandoned and derelict. And they're not doing anything with it at all. They want to merge it with Terminal 2, but they're not doing much work on it. And they're not Escalators, but this time I'm filming the lift, so I'm going in the lift. Exit that side.